Welcome to Winter, Winter Ramp Chattanooga. This is Winter Ramp Behind the Scenes, and I'm your host, Joe Reeser. I am so excited to be here with our guest, Jason Upton. Thanks for taking a couple minutes yeah. with us. And I have some questions that that I think are, are can be really insightful for some of you watching and can really can really minister to you guys. So one of those one of those questions is um, I've noticed some of your songs have a theme of of really painting the picture of the tension that we often find ourselves in as believers. Yeah. And that is where we look around and there's kind of, quote, real life around us. And then there's this promise of God's ultimate intention for our lives. And I know personally I found myself in that situation where, gosh, God, I'm going through all this stuff, but you've told me, you've told me this. And, and I, I think for the viewers, for our viewers that are in that situation themselves, what, what would be your guidance for them in, in that place of tension? Sure, yeah. Well, you know, there, there's an early church heresy called docetism, which actually tried to separate and say that Jesus lived this life and we weren't created to live that life because Jesus was divine and we're just humans. Wow. And as humans, we live in this sort of tension between, and we always hear that, in, in the kingdom to come. And the, but when I first started delving into that reality. I mean, Jesus is on the road on the cross and he says to his mother, behold, I make all things new, mother. And so in the midst of that kind of pain, that kind of um, uh, tension, uh, Jesus says something is happening right now. And that's one of the coolest things. I had somebody say to me years ago that the gift of even passion for Jesus, the gift of passion for Jesus, is a gift of God's presence. So the, it's, it's not so much that God, we don't worship Baal, God is an absent. God is here, he's present. And, and, what, and what Jesus sort of shows us is, even my gift of passion for him is a gift to be received from wow. him. So the moment I feel passion for Jesus, it's the reality of the kingdom come right here and right now. It's a gift from God that, even the fact that I'm hungering for him, even the fact that I'm hungering for God, is something to be thankful to God for in His presence. Wow. That I'm even hungry for Him. Wow. And that, all of a sudden, closes the gap on that tension. Wow. And so even you know, and that's why you see a lot of times people that are very in very broken places have this gift of amazing grace. And it's often those of us that aren't really in that much of a broken place that feel the tension more. Interesting. But those wow. of us that really that's go powerful. through things, you know, that's powerful. Yeah. You, you led us in a song, in, in some songs of forgiveness, and yeah. it, was, it was so powerful. And, you know, unforgiveness is an interesting thing. It's, it seems like one, of those, one yeah. of those things that feels okay to have sometimes, because it's a, it's a justified thing. It's like a bondage that doesn't feel bad for having, you know? And for, for those of our viewers that are kind of in that place where they're battling with that unforgiveness, but I've, but I've been hurt, I feel like I'm okay to, to feel this way. Yeah. Uh, but it truly is a bondage. What, 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 would you, what would you say to them? Well, yeah, just the gift of forgiveness. It, a lot of times we make the mistake of thinking that forgiveness is reconciliation. That we, but that's actually another step. But forgiveness is what allows our hearts to see again. And, um, it's a powerful statement. Yeah. Wow. So Jesus, even on the cross, you know, um, uh, what we were talking earlier, you know, Jesus is on the cross and and he sees that not as a place to come and die, but to, to be born into something new, to birth something completely new. And um, Jesus in the garden, Peter hacks off that man's ear and they come, as they come to betray Jesus and, and, and Jesus says, Peter, do you think this cup my father has for me? Do you think I shouldn't drink it? So Jesus saw even his own betrayal because there is, like I said today, there is a God who sees right where I am. So Jesus shows, there's a God who sees Peter. My father sees right where I am. And so put down your sword. I'm going to heal this man's ear. Wow. And I'm going to show you that even this betrayal is a cup that my father is giving me. And, and that, that is amazing freedom. Wow. And, um, wow. If we could understand that freedom, I mean, it, it, it really, that really will transform the world. Yeah. 
if we can if we can grab a hold of, of the freedom of Jesus in that way. That's powerful. So That's powerful. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, for those of you watching, I want to remind you that the same presence of God that's in this room, and we've seen, we've seen hundreds of people just enter into the presence of God, and I believe, even in this last session, experience the, uh, just the gift of God of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I, I want to remind you that that's there where you're at. If you're mm -hmm. watching in a church, maybe a youth group's gathered, if you're watching in your home with your family or even by yourself, I want to challenge you, if there, if there are places of unforgiveness in your life, even to embrace that word yeah. as your own. That sometimes even the difficult things in our life is a cup from God. Yeah. And he's, and he's the one that loves us. Yeah, and yeah. we don't, for, don't forgive because people deserve it. Forgive so you can see again. Hallelujah. And that's, a, especially for those of you that are creative, some creative people who are very yeah. sensitive and, and our eyes are the first to go. Wow. And we stop seeing. And, and to be a Christian is to be a creative force in the earth and, and, and literally um, to be blown by the wind of the Spirit and we have to be able to see. Our eyes are really important to us. So God bless you, Joe. Thank you. God bless right. you. Yeah, man. Thanks for being with right. us and thank you guys for watching. We love you. We'll see you later.